Where have the rest of the clowns of the amazing digital circus gone? Hello everyone. Many can't wait for the release of the second series of the exciting digital circus. However, there is no second episode yet. Let's imagine what could have happened in it. You probably remember the opening screensaver, where all the characters of the digital circus are presented. But let's also introduce the character Kofmo the Clown into the story. At a time when the clown disappears somewhere, he is replaced by a boring cardboard copy. Later we learn that our cheerful hero has lost his mind and turned into a strange monster in black tones and a lot of eyes. This will create additional tension and intrigue the viewer. In the meantime, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell, and we're starting. The hero Dax and his faithful companion Ragatha showing the rooms of Pawnee. Show where they and other heroes live. You can see another room. There is a mysterious clown whose face is covered with a red cross. Interestingly, this clown has a clown's hat on his head, just like Pawnee, who often suffers from absent-mindedness and falling into a trance. When a Kofmo monster starts hitting the walls, another clown can be seen, whose face is also covered with a red cross. This clown is bright yellow in color, and he has a blue apron around his neck. And this mysterious clown, like a rabbit, has big ears and a red nose. What is hidden behind this mystery? How did you know this hero? Why didn't they tell us anything about him? This clown, which causes me very sad emotions and a lot of questions. Every time I look at it, it makes me wonder why he's so unhappy. Perhaps he was being teased, or he was meant to be so sad from the very beginning in order to bring joy to others with his sadness. I do not know for sure, but these two clowns may have been absent-minded and left the scene a long time ago, turned out to be completely insane and turned into creepy monsters. That's how Kofmo, who threw one of these scattered monsters into the basement, noticed that there were a lot of similar characters, all the same lost and scattered. And that's when the question arises what if one of these monsters could be one of those clowns who scattered? Perhaps when these two clowns took turns scattering, just at the same time, a new Kofmo clown entered the arena, and, of course, suddenly it dissipated too. And right there, at the same time, the clown Pawnee appeared, who, as it was noticed, is also a clown. But in fact, a jester is a kind of harlequin, which in turn is also a type of clown. And what happens? There is an endless cycle of clowns in the circus. That is, when one clown dissipates, a new clown takes his place. And so it goes on. So, undoubtedly, Pawnee should also disperse. Because she is also a clown, I think. It is also worth noting that perhaps Pawnee goes the same way as Kofmo. Once in the digital circus, he did not want to stay too long, and he was looking for a way out as indicated by his paintings and the painted walls in the room with the word exit. When Pawnee got into the digital abyss, you might think that there is no way out of this world at all, but it's worth noting that there is always a way out of any game. Maybe they just weren't looking there, and the exit is actually in the most visible place and not at all in the door they were so diligently looking for. Despite the fact that Kane is deceiving everyone that there is no way out, I am sure that in the next episode we will find out what the exit door really is and where it leads, and what does the very door that leads to the exit and not to the matrix of emptiness look like. In the second series of the Digital Circus, we will learn about how the heroine begins to lose her mind. Already at the beginning of the series it becomes clear that she is on the verge of insanity, and at the end of the first episode we see that she falls into a mentally unstable state. The pilot episode also shows us how nervous and unbalanced she is compared to others. It will be very easy for her to go crazy, but even if she turns into a modest and harmless girl, she will still be on the verge of madness. All the heroes of the amazing digital circus will make efforts to somehow cure and bring Pawnee to reason. After all, she is the main character who will save everyone from this digital madhouse. Every four days we present interesting facts and theories about the amazing digital circus. I wish you all the best and good luck.